Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, what you're looking at here is truly uh, one of the most remarkable pieces of electronics that you will see in the world. It's a big statement, but this is a virtual synchronous machine. A virtual synchronous machine is like an inverter, uh, but it's much more than that. But it behaves as if it is a spinning synchronous generator. Uh, it's three phase, so there's the three phase connection, that's the battery connection. Two solar trackers coming in, and we've got some remote comms here for uh, extracting the information out to go into the cloud, and we can remotely turn on the unit. Solar input to it is about 13 kilowatts. It's, it's 9 to 10 in that range, it can do a boost up to 12. Uh, but normally we say on this is 9 to 10 kilowatts, KVA I should say. Now the efficiency of this is better than 95%. The unit is PLL less, that's phase loop lock. It doesn't have that in here. It's also transformer less. There's no transformer in here at all of these. Now, what's the benefit of a virtual synchronous machine? Well, the big benefit is that it's uh, totally autonomous in how it works. It does not need any connection to the battery or between the units. It will do a black start. Uh, it can be operated uh, on and off the grid. So in a brownout and a very weak sine wave signal, this unit here supports the voltage stability through reactive power injection. It provides frequency support. It provides the synthetic inertia uh, to counteract instability. It mitigates any harmonics to restore a cleaner sine wave. And it stays connected and provides stability uh, even with a fault by riding through the fault. It automatically adjusts its operating modes from being locally connected or independent off-grid. So it goes on-grid, off-grid in a heartbeat. It will also do a frequency change, so it has uh, the benefit of reactive power. So it can actually shift the frequency curve. So if you put a 20-foot container full of these, you'll do just over a megawatt None of them are connected together from a data point of view. They just all sit on the same, same three-phase connection. Uh, the solar feeds into any of them, and the battery goes in. Uh, first thing is, you can take the battery off while it's running, and it'll continue to run. So it'll run with or without the battery, providing it's got power coming in from the solar or if it's grid connected. So that's a perfect scenario with a genset. The genset can cut in and out. Their frequency goes up and down. This will accommodate that and work with it. The batteries can go empty. This can continue to run. And it'll support non-VSM uh, PV inverters as well. In a ratio, we think of two of these to one of the uh, standard inexpensive PV inverter that can sit alongside of it. And this will provide enough sine wave to keep the regular uh, PV inverter running. Now, an incredible safety feature here is that the neutral on the three phase, the PV neutral or negative, and the battery negative, and the case are all a common ground. So unlike a lot of inverters where the PV is not grounded, in this particular unit it's grounded. In addition to that, the ground fault interrupter inside um, is also uh, tested and measured. So the actual uh, fault interrupt program in here, the components in the board are uh, measured and tested to make sure that they're running. And the common ground here gives this an incredible uh, safety advantage. Running. Uh, it's full of silicon carbide. And so this runs at an incredibly high clock speed, uh, runs at uh, 16 uh, uh, microseconds and it's uh, operating uh, temperature that you see here is just um, air cooled. All these little fins on the top are to take the heat out when it's running with the solar on and the grid running for uh, maximum power. Uh, this is capable of running in a grid tide mode or an island mode and it will seamlessly do a mode transfer between the two. The competitor to this product is a synchronous condenser, up to about half a megawatt in capacity. This is more competitive. Above half a megawatt as you approach one megawatt, the synchronous com uh, condenser can be more competitive. But this has a big advantage on inertia. 
So inertia is very valuable for the grid, but it's also a disadvantage. It can also be very slow. So this provides inertia, but it can be incredibly fast and respond very rapidly uh, to a change. So it provides inertia um, within the circuits that it's running, within the uh, microgrid that you're running it on. So a good application for this would be any site that has uh, brownouts. Uh, it would be good in a mining application where these can be scattered 100 metres apart, but connected on the three-phase power and they will synchronize just through the three-phase power connection. Again, no data connections needed. And um, uh, either one at the 100 meters apart or 200 meters apart can be uh, connected to a genset. The other one can be connected to the solar and they will uh, keep running between the two units. So it totally democratizes the grid. Uh, that You can have 100 of these, 200 of these. Uh, they will all auto-sync together. I've got to say, how good's that?